delicious spaghetti squash with creamy vegan tomato um, sauce on top. This is such an amazing dish for a quick and easy dinner that's super healthy, full of flavor, um, but free of any of the bad stuff. Um, really simple list of ingredients that we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using some nice fresh tomatoes, spaghetti squash, some olive oil. For spices and seasonings, we're gonna be using sea salt, chili flakes, and also some garlic powder. And then we need some tomato paste and some cashews, which are gonna make it really creamy. my ingredients on um, the recipe link below you'll see how much of everything you need and then I've also um, the first thing I need to do before I make my sauce is I need to get my spaghetti squash and the tomatoes in the oven so I preheated my oven to 350 and I prep my spaghetti squash spaghetti squash is really easy to prep um, we do also have a link um, below that will tell you exactly how to do this but um, the quick overview is you carefully cut your sp spaghetti squash in half you scoop out the insides, you drizzle with olive oil, salt and pepper, and then you're gonna bake it face down. I also, um, if you can see, I also added in here my tomatoes. The tomatoes we want to bake alongside the spaghetti squash so they get nice and soft for us to make our sauce with. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. You'll know your tomatoes are ready because they're kind of um, like blistery and soft. Um, the skins will kind of start to come up. Um, the spaghetti squash might need more like 45, depending on the size. We have a really small spaghetti squash today, so I'm gonna check it at 30. Um, but just know in the future when you're making this, um, spaghetti squash might need longer than the tomatoes. Um, but um, we're gonna go ahead and put those in, and then we'll move on to um, making the spaghetti and the cream sauce after these are out of the oven. So we just got our tomatoes out of the oven. Um, and you can kind of see that uh, they're just at this point where they're really soft, I can't pick it up, they're really soft. The skins are coming off of them, so um, they're gonna go ahead and uh, turn into a nice smooth sauce. And you can always use canned diced tomatoes too in place of um, like roasting your tomatoes in the oven like this, but of course we always love things as fresh as possible. So we went ahead and put our tomatoes in our food processor. I'm gonna add our cashews. These cashews are what gives it the creamy texture without dairy. Um, I'll add our, our seasoning, so our salt. The chili flakes, a little kick. Garlic powder. And again, you can always use um, fresh garlic in place of garlic powder, if you prefer to do that. Olive oil, and then finally some tomato paste to help kind of thicken the sauce a little bit. All right, so we have everything in our food processor, and now we're just gonna go ahead and blend to make this delicious creamy sauce. blended the sauce until it's nice and creamy and there's no more uh, chunks of cashews in it. You can kind of tell just by the sound if there's um, if all the chunks are gone. So now I have my nice creamy sauce and I'm going to get my spaghetti squash out of the oven and make my spaghetti and then we can put the sauce over it. All you have to do to turn your spaghetti squash into spaghetti is you just use a fork and you scrape out the inside. So I'm almost done with this one but you can see Literally just started scraping you scrape all the way down to the bottom and it makes this beautiful spaghetti that's just made from squash. One of my favorite, absolute favorite um, veggie substitutes ever. So that you can see what my spaghetti squash looks like here and now we're just ready to pour the sauce on. Beautiful. So the sauce is probably enough for 
honestly a lot of portions more than the spaghetti squash we made today but um you can see looks amazing and i can't wait to dig in so here is our finished uh spaghetti squash with creamy tomato sauce on it it looks and smells amazing don't forget to check out the link below for the recipe on and i'll link you to our blog that has all the details of the recipe and also make sure to subscribe if you love really simple really tasty healthy recipes because we have a lot more so i'm going to give this a try and confirm it tastes as good as it looks let me see if i can do this without making a mess of myself mm. so amazing <laughs>